You are welcome to Yanga Life channel. Today we want to drive from Onicha to Oka, moving along the expressway. That's where we are going to follow. So about now we are moving along the expressway moving towards Buromi roundabout or Zix roundabout. From there we move straight to um, a building material site from there down to uh, Teje, then move towards uh, Oka. As we are, we are going to cover today. So it's me, Chinedu, your presenter. Let's keep going. Some viewers have not seen this video as in as regards this area and they've longing to see the area and how it looks like. So this is why we are bringing this video to you today. So you can view it and enjoy the video. So I remember it was around 2012, 2013 or so that this road was done, this expansion, because a service lane was created along this expressway. But the service lane ended somewhere uh, at the, just before the Zix roundabout, as you can see, before the military. Uh, barracks the service lane ended somewhere there so but the good thing is that this road this expressway was uh, done by the state government then before then it was something else so the state government worked on the expressway created service lane from there to head bridge and that helped on each other so much and the road has remained like that up to today. Nothing has happened to this expressway. Just maybe some very few places like Kunka Junction, where I don't know what is happening there. So, but the good thing is that the road has been like that. It was done by the state government, Anambra state government, from that head bridge, down there, outside there, I think it was after Ogidi or so, as where they ended it then. And later, in another administration, the federal government reimbursed Anambra state government. So these are the kind of, um, you know, things that we are talking about. Because majorly, is our people that uses this road and some foreigners, or majorly our people, forms the major part of uh, users. So it's not out of place if uh, state government can, you know, build or reconstruct a state through a federal road for the use of the masses. That is the idea. That's what we are talking about. So, but. That is, uh, by the way, we are climbing New Pass flyover. As we are, we are climbing now. Seems that uh, we are lacking maintenance culture. Seems, but however, this is the view of inside the ball. This is a uh, new spare parts market. That is where you are looking at now. More new spare parts market. As usual, I've 
grown bushes here and there. It's high time there should be a law and the enforcement of that law to the letters as regards you know uh, taking care of the environment though the law may have been there but let there be you know enlightenment and uh, enforcement even if it means the government whether local government or whichever level that can create an office that will be in charge of taking care of uh, road environment in particular and its surroundings. You know, it will go a long way to make our places clean and very neat. So this is um, um, the the road, the pedestrian bridge at uh, the other side of Mbo. If you take right, you are going to Mbo Junction. That's the uh, uh, Kempo side. That's where you will come out along the uh, old road. So, but we are not moving along old road. We are moving along the expressway. You know, it's just like um, we keep saying tomorrow the government can decide to establish service lane along this uh, expressway which is uh, what happened inside the uh, Onicha at a point government created service lane from Head Bridge down to Bromi side so nothing can stop the government in future from creating another service lane because this area has turned to built up area and when it comes to such the only way to ensure that there is free movement of vehicle on the expressway and within the town is by creating a service lane so that people moving along the express will have a free movement uninterrupted that is the purpose of this service lane. People moving around the city can be using the service lane. Then if you want to make a major turn, you can come down to where you can turn and the expressway. So why am I saying this? People should be avoiding building their houses or offices close to the expressway. People should stop that building close to the express in future now when there will be demolition people will start crying there should be a, a, an established meters from an expressway an expressway has a longer distance that developers are supposed to give more than ordinary highway it is not the same expressway has a longer time and distance probably to create this thing I'm talking about service lane <clears throat> and for other reasons that could be attached to that so that's why we are reminding people through this video to avoid that completely who should avoid it and do the right thing That is the thing. So let's keep going.
So, but uh, this is um, this is the uh, overview of uh, Unkole Zunaka as is. And I know that there are beautiful estates over there. However, uh, let's wait and see what happens if we can if we can make it. I know someone has made a request in that regards, but no, moving around this period is not uh, or it's not like before. We used to buy fuel at you know a lower rate. Now the thing is skyrocketing, and then. Uh, we are doing our best to, to also meet up with um, what we are supposed to. So properly, this is the expressway. And uh, if you ask me, at the middle of this expressway, there are supposed to be some kind of uh, cleaning work there. But there are other ones within the town that is more important than this. But if this one can be get clean, fine and good, so that you can always see vehicles coming on the other opposite direction. But though, here is just one, uh, okay, the other side is in use. But at a point, it was narrowed down to only one lane. There will be a point, the road is narrowed down to only one lane. Hoping that uh, the other lane will be, you know, awarded or work will continue from there. If it has not continued yet. So let's just enjoy the movement from here down to and see the things that we want to see thank you if you have not subscribed to this channel click on the subscription button notification button and let's hear your view about this video thanks as we do that
So it's from here that the road is narrowed down to one lane. The other side has not been uh, constructed. So traffic face each other on this lane that is on nature Oka lane route. So by the left there is uh, the road that leads to Anambra Cargo Passengers International Airport. <laughs> 